This movie makes you wish you were a kid again. Toy Story, directed by John Lasseter and is the first ever animated feature from Pixar, as well as having the honour of being the first ever animated feature movie. Uh, wow, what a milestone uh, achievement. Uh, so, uh, Toy Story, uh, everyone knows the story, so I'll explain it uh, as uh, quickly as I can. Uh, Toy Story tells the story of... Uh, uh, Woody, who's uh, Andy's number one toy in Andy's room, uh, but uh, on the day of Andy's birthday, uh, a new arrival, uh, Buzz Lightyear, uh, seemingly uh, replaces Woody, much to Woody's annoyance, uh, so Woody uh, tries uh, to... Uh, uh, get rid of Buzz uh, to uh, reclaim Andy's love and getting him and uh, Buzz in uh, mortal peril when uh, he uh, and uh, Buzz are both uh, prisoners in the house of Andy's terrifying uh, bully neighbour Sid who uh, loves to torture other toys. Uh, so Woody and Buzz have to uh, learn to pull themselves together and uh, put aside their differences and uh, and become friends uh, if they're to get back to Andy's uh, before Andy moves. Let me tell you guys something, Toy Story uh, is officially as old as I. Yes, I was born uh, the year Toy Story came out in 1995, I'm 21, will be 22 this year. Yes, so uh, Toy Story is officially 22 now, that's how long computer animation has been uh, going uh, in the movies. Without Toy Story, uh, if without this uh, well, uh, uh, wonderful masterpiece uh, from uh, the uh, experts at Pixar, we would not have CGI animation today. We wouldn't have DreamWorks. We wouldn't have uh, uh, Illumination Entertainment or Sony Pictures Animation. We wouldn't have any of that. Uh, this uh, was uh, the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to computer animation. And and I know I'm the last um, uh, movie fan uh, in the world uh, to review this movie, uh, as everyone else uh, has touched upon it. Uh, but uh, now I thought uh, is, uh, well, uh, a, uh, a great time to uh, look back on all the Pixar movies uh, with the release of Cars 3 and uh, being a... Uh, die-hard Pixar fan uh, that I always have been uh, throughout uh, my entire life because they're literally as old as me if you think about it and Toy Story it's absolutely brilliant uh, I know it's popular to say this is the best Pixar movie uh, it's uh, uh, the majority's favorite is it my favorite not necessarily uh, but hold on just hear me out sir uh, it's one of my favorites uh, Toy Story as a trilogy would probably be my favorite Pixar movie if not for my personal favourite, Monsters, Inc. Uh, yes, sir, I prefer Monsters, Inc. to Toy Story, and I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that to the world, uh, but uh, everybody has uh, their own favourite Pixar movies. It doesn't have to be Toy Story. But I don't see how anyone could not like Toy Story. It's uh, relatable uh, for everyone, uh, uh, young or old. Uh, it's, it's still freaking awesome and an absolute animated masterpiece, and... Uh, a remarkable achievement in animation. Uh, the for the very first computer animated movie, the CGI animation uh, still looks stellar. Uh, certainly in comparison to uh, other uh, well uh, half-assed uh, looking animated movies for, by studios who try to be Pixar but are not Pixar. Just as Disney are the kings of hand-drawn animation, Pixar are the kings of uh, CGI. Uh, I mean. I can imagine audiences uh, being uh, uh, absolutely uh, taken over and blown away uh, for the very first time seeing animation like this in a movie theatre. I, I didn't get to see it in the theatre, so I can only imagine, I can only envision what uh, the, well, uh, how much joy they must have felt and the experience for them. It, it must have been one of the most amazing moments of their lives to see Toy Story on 
on the big screen. I mean, animation history was made with this movie. And to the people who uh, say this animation's dated by today's standards, well, maybe slightly, but it's not that bad. That's not a reason uh, to, uh, well, criticise the movie at all. Uh, it's... Uh, it may not be as refined or as, uh, well, um, expertly rented as Pixar's later movies, uh, but uh, that can be expected. It was the first time. And I think for 1995, it holds up. It's it's still fantastic for me. It's uh, still uh, got uh, plenty of uh, charm and, uh, and magic, uh, despite uh, being a uh, CGI. Um, but it's not enough uh, for the first animated feature uh, to just have uh, revolutionary animation to be grace and stand out. So you've got to have the characters and the story. You've got to uh, win the audience over. And uh, Toy Story has some of the most memorable, fun layers and uh, terrific characters uh, in the history of movies. This movie makes you treasure your childhood because if I was a kid right now, I'd want Woody and Buzz. They're the coolest toys uh, ever. I have my Buzz Lightyear action figure right here. Yeah, I've uh, had him uh, all these years. Uh, yeah, I've, I've kept him safe. Uh, in, in my toy box, uh, with all my nostalgic memories of my toys from my childhood. Yeah, and uh, Woody and Buzzer, they they make for such a, well, a, a, a likeable, perfect duo. And are excellently voiced uh, by uh, two wonderful actors, Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. Uh, both uh, uh, work, uh, well, uh, incredibly well off each other. And uh, just, uh, I mean, when uh, Woody... Uh, uh, is uh, Andy's favourite toy, and all of a sudden he's replaced by Buzz. Uh, I mean, it's harder not to, to uh, feel just a little bit of sympathy uh, for him, as uh, he is uh, having to accept change uh, well, uh, so soon. I mean, I struggled to accept a change uh, with things in my life too. Uh, it, it happens to everybody, uh, but uh, once uh, Woody, uh, well, uh, Let's uh, his anger get the better of him and and almost ends up killing Buzz and uh, just uh, losing all of uh, his friends. Uh, all of the toys just all of a sudden turn against him and, and Buzz is the only friend uh, he's got. And, and he has to learn that Buzz actually isn't that bad and had to learn with, to work with Buzz and uh, he realises that they both need Andy uh, more than ever. And uh, Buzz's story and journey is surprisingly interesting. Uh, he starts out uh, possessed into uh, believing he's a space ranger, but uh, when the truth finally comes out, uh, when he sees the commercial that he's just a toy and Woody was right about him, uh, it uh, really hits him hard. Uh, he's he's depressed and uh, just uh, he's giving up uh, the will to live. It's pretty dark seeing him reduced to that, sir. Uh, which uh, is where Woody comes in. Uh, Woody uh, helps uh, Buzz realise that uh, things may have changed. You may not be who you thought you were, but you still have a reason to live. Uh, you still have a purpose You because uh, Andy needs you. Uh, that's uh, the uh, uh, one of the themes of Toy Story. Uh, and it's uh, a theme that uh, family movies often uh, don't bother to teach. Uh, it's, it's a purpose in life. Uh, what what you're meant for, and in this case, uh, for toys, life is only worth living if you're being loved by a kid. It's a bold message to kids saying change is never easy, uh, but uh, it's not uh, necessarily a bad thing. Uh, we all have to go through it, uh, and uh, and we all uh, learn from it. Uh, and all of the other toys in Andy's room come across as a delightful and uh, legitimately fun supporting cast. Uh, I mean, uh, Rex, uh, the dinosaur, uh, the uh, lovely Bo Peep, uh, uh, the uh, hysterical Mr. Potato Heads, and uh, Ham the Pig, voiced by, uh, well, a uh, Pixar legend, John Ratzenberger, who does a voiceover in uh, all 18 of their movies. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, love every single one of them, too. And they're not just uh, pushed to the side. Uh, they are also uh, integral uh, to the story. And I can uh, see why uh, Pixar chose to make the, their first uh, computer-animated movie where the characters are mostly toys, as uh, 
toys and plastic is uh, easier to render than furry characters. Uh, they would obviously uh, develop uh, and, and improve on the technology as their movies went on. Uh, and even the humans look like plastic, uh, but, but that actually adds charm to them. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, I've uh, always uh, had a soft spot for Andy and his family too. Uh, yes, uh, they are uh, such a, a nice uh, family to be with and uh, the toys couldn't be in safer hands. Uh, yeah, yeah, Andy, he uh, the, represents the child in all of us. Uh, he, he makes us uh, wish we were kids again, uh, you, know, uh, you know, don't grow up too soon as uh, kids are told too often. Uh, nowadays and his sister Molly uh, she's uh, so sweet and uh, will uh, uh, also uh, uh, enhance the message of uh, growing up uh, in the next two movies and Andy's mother she's uh, so kind hearted uh, and uh, and lovable and uh, always there for Andy no matter what so uh, even the movie's villain Sid is one of the darkest most sinister Pixar villains uh, I've ever seen he's the only human antagonist in the Toy Story trilogy uh, I mean it can I mean Stinky Pete and uh, Lotso are both toys uh, but uh, oh, um, but Sid uh, represents uh, well the complete opposite of Andy uh, I my uh, god, uh, this kid's messed up in the head. He blows up uh, toys and uh, he rips them apart uh, and uh, even uh, almost uh, blows Buzz to bits uh, towards the end with a stick of dynamite. Uh, and uh, the the part in Sid's house uh, where Woody and Buzz uh, befriend uh, Sid's uh, tortured toys, the mutant toys, uh, uh, when uh, they... Uh, team up with Woody to help save Buzz at the end and and Woody reveals to Sid that the toys are alive and Sid is just scared shitless and it's uh, it's an overwhelmingly satisfying see seeing Sid get his comeuppance. Uh, there's nothing that Toy Story's lacking in, the script has it all. Uh, it, it puts story before animation, uh, which is what I really appreciate it for. It it's, uh, makes you laugh or cry and it's scary. Uh, yeah, and some of my favourite moments in an animated movie are in Toy Story, like uh, when Woody uh, can't uh, control himself anymore, and he's and he's just like, "You are a toy." And one of my favourite lines from Woody: "That wasn't flying. That was falling with style." Uh, oh, uh, yeah, the voice acting is superb from everybody, uh, as well as Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, and. And what can I say about uh, Randy Newman's uh, scorer for this movie? The soundtrack's sensational, it's classic. I'll find myself singing along to every song number. You got a friend in me, strange things are happening to me, and I will go sailing no more. Uh, well, whenever you hear you've got a friend in me, you instantly know Toy Story. Uh, it's You cannot mistake it uh, for any other movie. Uh, you've got a friend in me is Toy Story's uh, trademark. Uh, and I also almost forgot to mention the aliens. Oh my god, how awesome are the aliens when they're like, Oh, the claw. Just, uh, yeah, uh, those uh, uh, toys uh, of the aliens, they're, they're gonna sell. Forget the minions, you should be buying the aliens from Toy Story. Toy Story's just uh, simply a groundbreaker in animation. It captivated me uh, as a kid, uh, and uh, it's, uh, amazingly, after audiences had seen it, uh, they, they never asked about the animation or technology. They, uh, they uh, were... Uh, in love with the characters and the story. That's when you know John Lasseter and uh, all of the folks at Pixar uh, know they got this movie right and uh, they should indeed be proud. Uh, just, uh, I mean, if I don't think it's possible to find anyone who uh, hates Toy Story. I mean, uh, if, uh, if you hate Toy Story, please reconsider your taste in movies. If somebody came up to you and said, oh, I hate Toy Story, you'd be like, what did you say? You want to say that again? Even if I feel Toy Story 2 and 3 have the edge over the first one, uh, simply because of animation, uh, I still absolutely love Toy Story 2 Infinity and Beyond. I give Toy Story 5 stars out of 
five. This movie's one of the biggest inspirations for any aspiring uh, movie director. I have this beautiful book on how to do animation, and remember, if you've got a good story, uh, you've got a great future ahead of you in the movies. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what do you think of Toy Story? Please comment, let me know if you like this video, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Google+. Plus. And I'll see you all next time when I review Aladdin. I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Thank you.